Hello friends, welcome to Pioneer of Success. We are continuing with the geometry series and in this particular video, we are going to talk about creation of this kind of hemispherical geometry. As you can see, this is not a continuous geometry. It is made up from different slices and we have actually added those slices in a circular way to create this particular one. So this particular geometry may not be useful for your modeling purposes but you may need to create this kind of geometries maybe a little bit different so the idea of creating this video is to tell you how exactly this kind of geometries can be made so that you can make your own geometry by using those tools so before i go to today's technical discussion i would like to inform that we have recently started a service where you have to write to us in the email id given in the description box and we will set up video call to support developing your research model and we will be having multiple video call, video calling so that we can help you developing your model if you want to avail this service write to us so let us uh, try to create this particular geometry so let us go to a new window so we take 3d model and we are not taking any physics because we will only be creating the geometry so we will start from a work plane that means we will have a kind of 2d shape then we will extrude it and then we will make an array of that that is the preliminary concept so i right click on plane geometry and we click on parametric curve we have already started discussion about this parametric curve in the last video we have discussed about the same i'll put that link in the description box so if you have missed that particular video you can have a look because those two videos are linked so we choose the parametric curve and let us create a kind of circular curve for the time being and we create this circular curve by uh, parametric equation of the circle cos s and the sin s where s is the parameter and this is the angular range so let us keep it from 0 to say pi by 2 i click on build selected so this is how it looks like <coughs> now we make a duplicate copy of it for that i right click on parametric curve create on duplicate and say shift it by 0.2 so it has shifted like this way and we can actually now join these two ends by taking lines so again i click on plane geometry there are line segment so we have to choose the verti vertex uh, so here this is the first vertex and this is the second one once I click build selected it will create the line similarly we have to take another line segment for the bottom one so we choose the first point and then the end point again create this build selected so now this is a kind of sketch we have to create a solid geometry and for that I have already told we have to right click uh, on the plane geometry and then from the conver conversions option we have convert into solid so we choose the boundary you have to choose the boundary lines carefully and then create build selected so you can see this particular shape is created now we want this particular one in 3D so what we need to do is we need to extrude it we right click on work plane click on extrude and we put an extrusion of 0.2 meter along the normal direction click on build selected so you can see one such element is created now we have to make a, a replica of this so we have to create a rotation so i right click on geometry then there are transformation operations transforms 
and we have rotate so we click on rotate we need to rotate it say in the range of 0 to 360 with an interval of 30 degree and then we choose the element because this one will be rotated and then click on build all objects so this is and uh, now we have to actually change the rotational axis so we have to make it along y axis yeah so if you make it along y axis then you can create this kind of hemispherical shaped bowl shaped geometry if you create impeller of a rotor then also this particular concept will be useful maybe in the next video we'll be taking a real life geometry which we would like to show you and then we'll try to create it following this kind of tools which i have shown in this particular video and that is why watching the entire playlist is very much important i will put the link of the playlist in the description box there are around 25 videos if you go through all the videos then you can learn about the geometry in a stepwise manner so today i stop here meanwhile i would like to tell you to subscribe to our channel so that we get more motivation to upload videos